So just wanted to show you some jewelry that I got yesterday at Ross. I am so, so excited because if you watch my previous videos, you know I just love, love, love Juicy Couture. I love designer brands, but Juicy Couture is my top designer brand, if not the toppest. I just love it. I have perfumes in Juicy Couture. I have other jewelry in Juicy Couture. I have a watch in Juicy Couture. I have purses in Juicy Couture. I even got bras in Juicy Couture. Can you believe that? So yeah, anything I can get that's Juicy Couture. I even got wipes um, from Ross, actually, that were Juicy Couture. Was it Ross or TJ Maxx? One of them. And it was Juicy Couture wipes. No, it was Ross. Um, and I got them. I loved them. And um, it had the perfume smell to it, so I loved it. So it was perfect. So yeah, I'm totally a Juicy Couture fan. So I found the all of these jewelry pieces and so this one my daughter gave me because we were shopping together and she likes to give me gifts just because I love her for it and I appreciate her for it she's always thinking of me she's always trying to buy me stuff and it doesn't have to be any occasion I know Mother's Day is coming up it could have been a previous uh, previous gift for Mother's Day um, or it could have been again a just because but she did get me these I spotted them off in the case and I thought that is like the most prettiest thing Ever. I like hooped style earrings most of all and so even though it doesn't go around here like a hoop but the whole um, design of the earring is like a hoop circle style so I really liked it but I love the shimmery look of it I love the colors it has purple pink gold like an emerald green a beautiful blue which like I tell you always blue reminds me of autism for my son so I thought these were just amazing they're by Natasha they were only $7.99 so yeah they were so pretty and she's like mom I want to buy those for you and I'm like you should so my camera stopped recording. It's running out of space. So yeah, so my whole life story in my whole life, I love butterflies. Like I said, I love the beauty of it and I love the process of the butterfly life. And so you should check that out. If you understand Spanish, check Jenny Rivera's Mariposa um, de Barrio. Um, so it's like butterfly from the hood. I know people laugh at it when you say it in English, but I just love butterflies. So I have two silver and two gold here. These are the backings. This is also by Natasha. This is also only $7.99, so that was great. I also got these right here. Like I said, hoop is my favorite style of earrings, but what I love the most is the hearts and having like a key to the heart, but there's no key here. There's just like a little stone, the little diamond-like stones, and the two little hearts. It has like the key to it. I love hearts as well, and it has something on the heart but I can't really read what it says right now. Um, but yeah, I love this one. This was only $7.99, so it was perfect. Then I got these two Juicy Couture bracelets, which has a heart, it has a key. Speaking of the key, it has a big heart that says Juicy, a small heart, a pearl, and the key for the heart. So, And it's so easy to put on. I love this style here where you just put the um, stick, stick or little pole thing through the hoop. So I can't wait to wear this one. I also got this bracelet in Juicy Couture, which also has a heart, but it has a crown on it. And then it has the bar that says Juicy. I mean, two different looks, but the same style bracelet where you put this little thing through the hoop. So it's so easy to put on. So classic looking. I just love the beauty of these type of bracelets, especially Juicy Couture does an amazing um, design in all of their jewelry. And I just can collect forever. This one's only... What was it? $8.99? Is it $8.99? $8.99. So these are really great deals for the designer that it is. It should be worth a whole lot more. So I can't wait to wear these. I still have them in the things because I wanted to show you, but I'm going to put them in this jewelry box. I have a jewelry armoire that I also put for jewelry, um, but for the things that I wear on a constant basis, I put it in this jewelry box, which is really pretty. It's a mirror juicy box it says love is patient love is kind with the pearls on top so the ones that I wear on an everyday basis I put in here and things that I don't wear as often they go in my jewelry armor which is over there with the mirror so yeah so I can't wait to try these earrings on and these bracelets my butterflies and I'll take pictures of every time I wear them so you can see how they look on me and all that good stuff so just wanted to share that with you 
So just wanted to show you the earrings that I showed you in the previous clip that I bought from Ross, my Juicy Couture. I am so excited. I am putting them on today. Look, they're so pretty. Hopefully I'm showing you the right view. They are so pretty. They are hoops, which is my favorite style of earrings. They have the hearts to it, which I love hearts and I love butterflies. Probably butterflies, number one, but I love my hearts too. So I just wanted to show you how they look on me. So, so pretty. And in my shirt, I have gold zipper with gold hooks. So it just goes perfect. I was gonna put on my Juicy Couture bracelets that I showed you, the charm bracelets. Unfortunately, my heart is so broken. They did not fit. They're for a skinny wrist. God knows I don't have a skinny wrist. So I put them in this um, bag. This one I didn't even touch because I already knew that it wasn't gonna fit. It was the same size as the other one. It was the other one that I have behind here that didn't fit and I put in this Ziploc bag because I had cut off the tag and those ties, those zip ties. And so for Ross, when you return jewelry, you have to have everything. The um, tag, the price tag, this tag right here. You have to have the backing, which would be this that says Juicy Couture, and you have to have the receipt. So I wanted to make sure that everything was together and I didn't lose it, so I put in a Zippy Lock bag until I can go to Ross. So this one, like I said, see if I can do this with one hand, I didn't touch, and it's so beautiful. Both of them were so beautiful, and I was so hoping. I did have like an idea that it might not fit, but I was like, no, it just looks like that because they have it tied down to the um, pink little cardboard thing here. And I thought, I'm sure it will. It'll be fitted, but it'll fit. No, unfortunately my instincts were right, but we tried. So I'm gonna take it back and see um, what two replacements I get for these two braces. Cause I do want more Juicy Couture jewelry and I wanna wear something special for Mother's Day. I was gonna wait to wear these for Mother's Day, but that's okay. I'll wear either my butterflies or those beautiful color I call them hoops anyway, even though this part isn't like a snap part, it's like a hanging part. They're still circles, so I still consider them hoops. Um, so maybe I'll wear that for Mother's Day or the beautiful butterflies that I showed you. So who knows? We'll see what I wear. I don't even know what I'm wearing as far as an outfit for Mother's Day. We're just gonna be at home, chilling like a villain. Just gonna have my husband and my children with me and my granddaughter Isabella, so that's a plus. My husband's making me my favorite, he always does, which is pozole, but he's also making tamales because I wanted tamales too. So he said, okay, I'll make a small pot of pozole for you, which is a lot anyway, and I'll make a pot of tamales so you can have a little bit of both and so yeah so my daughter and um, her husband's not coming because he's not off he might come later on to get something to eat and chill for a little bit but it's just gonna be me my two daughters my son and my husband and just we're gonna be just enjoying the day together I'm not gonna be able to go to my mother's gravesite I never do directly on Mother's Day I go the day before because um, I like to have my own personal space and time with my mom I go we stay for a while we don't just a quick visit hi bye None of that. I have to go there. I clean the grave really, really good. Um, me and my daughters and my husband, we sit down and we decorate a grave. We take so many flowers and decorations. Like I said, I like fake flowers because they last a long, long time. They're beautiful. And I live far away from the grave. I live three hours away. So I can't go constantly so that'll last me to the next holiday or occasion when i put fake flowers sometimes i'll take real flowers and put it in between um, but fake flowers for me for my case that i don't live close to her fake flowers are beautiful still and they work because I, I can rest assured that she's gonna be good till i get back and then we put tons of decorations whatever the occasion is about if it's Valentine's Day, we put Valentine's Day, Christmas, Christmas stuff, so forth and so on. So we'll put stuff that represent a mother, stuff about love. So usually I go the day before. That's my tradition because I like to have my own space and time. I don't want to run into any family. I don't want to run into any people that I know. Um, I don't have a, um, a relationship with a lot of family members that would possibly be there. And so I don't just wanna run into anybody. I just like me and my family to have, like I said, our space, our time together, whether that's in half an hour, an hour, two hours. And like I said, we clean her grave, we decorate it. And sometimes we play music, sometimes we'll take lunch and have lunch with her all that good stuff, and we take lots of pictures and video. So yeah, I need my own space. I don't wanna be there and somebody come up to me or 
you know, disturb my peace or my serenity. Don't want that. So I always make it a tradition to go the day before. I hate going after because I feel like it's all over and I missed it. So why even go after? But this year we're going to make an exception. Um, I didn't have any choice but to go. I'm going actually two days after Mother's Day. But she will know that even though I'm a couple of days late, that we'll still have our own Mother's Day and it will still be just as beautiful and just as loving. Um, and hopefully next year I can go before. Um, but yeah, so. And then she'll have an extra Mother's Day. So she'll have whoever visits her, if they visit her on Mother's Day or whatever, and she'll have another visit to look for, which is me and my husband and her grandchildren and her great-granddaughter. So yeah, my mother's good. Plus, I have an altar here that I've talked about many times in my video where I have an altar of their photos, a photo of my parents, a photo of my husband's parents who also passed away, and um, a couple of my cousins, which are the only cousins plus one more that I recognize. Um, so it's a family thing. Hey, I'm not the only family that goes through that. But when I say enough is enough, enough is enough. There's no going back. There's no, no, no. We're going to forgive and make up and argue and fight. Forgive, make up, argue, and we're going to keep on with that. No, my family is sacred. My journey, I love peace. I love serenity. I love love. I love blessings. I don't want nothing toxic, nothing drama, nothing that causes me any pain emotionally or anything like that. I just completely let it go forever. And we all have made peace with that. We've all gone on to our own journeys, our own families, our own lives. We all made peace with that. We're happy the way things are. At least I know I am. I can't speak for everybody, but I know I am. I love it this way. I'm at peace. I'm happy. So yes, I don't have any will intent. I wish everyone well, but at a distance. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I talk about that a lot. Um, maybe one day I'll do a video just on that, but I really don't feel like um, it's worth doing a video on them or the situation. It's just, it is what it is. A lot of families go through this. This is, you know, this is the way it is. <laughs> so anyway, speaking about my lovely mother. So yeah, so she'll have an extra visit. So it won't be Mother's Day and that's it. She doesn't see anybody or have anything to do. She'll have that surprise extra visit with me and my family. So it'll be all good. So I can't wait. I think we're going to do it on Tuesday after Mother's Day. And like I said, I have an altar here with their photos and mementos about them. And we pray. We light them candles. And I decorate the altar here just like I would decorate the grave. I clean it like I clean the grave. I decorate it like I do the grave. So I do everything exactly that I do here over here and I know she's with me over here as well. So I do have something to do with her and honor her and love her and decorate her and all that good stuff here. So it won't be like I totally won't do nothing with her or for her on Mother's Day. It's even better really if you think about it. But you know, I gotta go to the grave because she was late to rest there and I respect that and honor that and I just have to. So I have to do both. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna take these back and try to see what else I can get because I do want some more Juicy Couture jewelry. But my earrings fit. All of my earrings will fit. So I'll have no problem there. So I'll let you know what I got to replace of this. So bye. Okay. See you in the next clip or the next video. I don't know. There's my mom's grave. That's what it looks. That's this is the before. We're gonna clean it up, get it all prettied up as always. So, but we made it safe and sound. We're gonna be here for a little bit, and then we'll let, let you see how it all looks when we're done. We got our mask on. We might take it off for a few minutes because there's no one around us. No one. But isn't the grave pretty? So full of flowers and balloons for this. Mother's Day, so should have been, nobody's around us. So here we go. So my daughter's spraying the side closer to her 
I think she's getting my side too. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I can bend over. I don't know what this market won't come on. We just picked up some stuff from Dollar Tree, this cleaning product. I could have got it from the Dollar Tree by where we live. We actually have two now. My daughter works for one. Did you just like take your purse over there? Oh my God, are you gonna, oh my God, bring it here, Mama. Isabella. She's trying to take my purse and give it to bring a me the purse. loved one over here. She thinks they need it, but. Um, Come here, bring it. Um, yeah, so we brought this cleaning product. It's like the orange smell, make her smell good as well as being clean. Her picture is standing good. Even though we got to redo that picture, like gla not glaze it. What do you call that? Oh, God, I think it's glaze. I wonder. Would it be white? So, this is my mom's favorite um, saint, Saint Anthony. He was the finder of things. So, anytime she lost something, she asked Saint Anthony help her, and he would come through. But her grave, as you can see, it's been what? How many years since my mom been gone? Twenty-three years. Mm -hmm. And so, it's taken its toll. I mean, her picture is still good. It just needs that protective, like glaze or. What do you call that? I, I want to say it's or like a like a gloss or something. A glossy fil film on top of it, so it can last another twenty three years. But our Saint Anthony is really discolored. He should be. This should be really dark brown, and the color should be more vibrant. So we're gonna see what we can do to get that done. My cousin might be coming. Yeah, my cousin Jim. So yeah, oh, we're, yeah, we're gonna be meeting my nephew here in a bit. Um, but yeah, that's one thing that we're thinking about doing in the near future. Hopefully, is getting it re redone, kind of reshined up. I mean, it's good, but it could be shinier and it could have its vibrant colors back. So first, we use this oxy oxygen orange. Totally awesome. A de degreaser, but we love that it. it smells like orange. And then we went over it again with this Comet antibacterial spray cleaner. So just to give it an extra little touch there. It's gonna be so nice in the where. So we got these. What do you call these? The solar lights. Solar lights. This one has what is it? Oh, oh. It's a, that's it's a, a bird. hummingbird. Hummingbird solar stake lights. You put it um, in here. Yeah, and we got a flamingo one. We got two of these. Um, what do you call this bird again? Hummingbird. Hummingbird. And then we got these. A couple of these with butterflies. I love butterflies. So, and then we got one with a flower on it. Here's, here's the other one. I'm still get stuck on. Then we got this. We kind of debate on this one. It says home is where mom is. And my mom resting place was here. So whenever we come here, we feel oh like God. this is the closest we can get to Look home with her. her. I mean, Sorry. of course, she's back in heaven home. And we don't live here. But I kind of just wanted her to have a little something, you know, kind of like we're together no matter where she is. Okay, we finished giving my mom a bath, like we call it. We scrub her gravesite, clean it. We put some linen spray to make her smell nice and good. And then we put all these beautiful decorations. We put, I like plant, putting fake flowers because they last a long time. Actually, they'll last forever, especially until I get back, um, which I come often, at least every holiday. So that's why I like to put fake flowers so they can last. They don't die. Like someone put these flowers and they're dying I'm sure it was just two days ago so that's what happens so I feel like on a grave fake flowers are the best because not only are they beautiful but they last a long time and I replace them every time I come back which is pretty much every holiday she's got her little flamingo over there her card that says mom her balloon that says love you mom some butterfly um, tokens a uh, hummingbird solar thing the flamingo's a solar stake too hummingbird solar steak another hummingbird solar steak and then she's got two of the pink um what do you call those like weights and then two other weights you see the green with the green foil one has a flower one has butterfly and so yeah 
this I didn't give her those red flowers or the bloom but I let it stay there because it must have just been put there and I like to honor people's stuff and um, so I just added my flamingo and then I that balloon I took it and taped it closer since the air is going out of it I didn't want it to fly away or break so I took a we took like a, a pincher or clothes pin kind of plastic like and so I took it and I pinned that person's balloon close to the cup and the flowers that could all be together and stay there um, and then the rest of the stuff is mine so yeah you like it mommy I love you so much happy Mother's Day at least the other mothers so here I am with my max it says I was vaccinated yes ma'am all of us here are vaccinated so we could take our mask down with my nephew who met us here he's been vaccinated completely we all have been vaccinated completely plus we're outside so we're pretty safe but we do have our masks just in case there's nobody around us at all we just just our little unit has this whole entire area so we're pretty darn safe um, but I'm here in back of my mom's grave I hope you can see it because I can't see the phone with the Sun so that's what it looks like the flowers we put for her the card, the balloon, the weights with the butterfly, and the flower one, the hummingbird solar stake, two of those, and then she has another one. Where's the other one at? Oh, the flamingo one. So hopefully you can see that because I can't see my phone with the sun and the Quiero Mama balloon and the red roses may have been for my brother and his wife. Um, they have a beautiful garden of roses. And so they must have brought that here. The balloon is really has no air. So I pinned it down, like I said, to keep it safe and to keep it stayed. The rest of the stuff is mine. She's smelling good. She's smelling like my linen spray. I get the Febreze, the linen smell, the linen scent from my bathroom, my house. It's just the most beautiful soft scent ever. So I got a can and I sprayed her grave. It looked like she walked through the gravesite. So yeah, maybe I could take my mask off too. Jeremy's like, there's my I nephew told him, like, Jeremy with my daughter Adriana and my granddaughter Isabella. Look at them. They were in the shade. Left me in the sun. Is I was showing Jeremy him the, hiding? Yes. I was showing him the video. He didn't know, he didn't see the video of Grandma in the hospital. He's like, I don't ever want to see it. No, no. Oh, yeah.